International fame for the amazing and beautiful smiles of the British may be in for a big change. Soon, we may be able to zap those teeth with a little bit of electricity and help them to actually repair themselves. Hi, I'm Mark Duncan, and welcome to LVI TV, your weekly dental news source. Back in January of 2013, a novel think tank was created in an attempt to take novel technologies and develop them into new protocols and practices. One of these new technologies is a perfect follow-up for a story we covered just a few weeks ago about laser-initiated repair of tooth structure in rats. The difference is, this time the researchers are using an electrical current to accelerate the natural movement of calcium and phosphate minerals into the damaged tooth. What would typically be done in the case of dentin affected by decay would be the mechanical removal of that infected tooth structure, and then a restoration or some sort of filling material or patch would be placed. Historically, we use metal fillings for these sorts of repairs, but over the last few decades, we made huge leaps forward to bonded materials. There are giant advances over potentially neurotoxic amalgam, and that helps to limit the impact of thermocycling in the material that causes fractures in the teeth. In fact, bonded restorations increase the strength of the tooth, which is also a huge advantage over the century-old technology of amalgams. However, it still isn't tooth structure, is it? And while it may seem like fairy tales and unicorns, the reality is we are advancing. We're seeing bioactive and self-reparative dental materials in development, in use. So why not also see some advances in the healing technologies as well? With what has been termed electrically accelerated enhanced remineralization, there is a two-step process this tooth rebuilding technique. This happens to be pain-free and drill-free, so it's also, obviously, shot-free. The two-step process first prepares the damaged area of enamel and then uses tiny electrical currents to push minerals into the repair site should be available within the next about three years. Professor Nigel Pitts from King's College London's Dental Institute said the way we treat teeth today is not ideal. When we repair a tooth by putting in a filling, the tooth enters a cycle of drilling and refilling as ultimately each repair fails. And he goes on to say that not only is our device kinder for the patient and better for their teeth, but it's expected to be at least as cost effective as current dental treatments. Along with fighting tooth decay, their device can also be used to whiten teeth. Dentistry is in an amazing age and there's so much more to explore. What incredible technology are you using in your practice? Share your experience with low-level laser therapy for soft tissue healing and ozone power of uh, physiologic neuromuscular dentistry below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these new reparative technologies like the laser episode or electrical enhancement like they're developing at King's College. Oh, and don't forget to like us and subscribe to LVI TV, and we'll see you next week.